reaction of iron nails with copper sulfate solution in water. The world around us is made up of matter. With the planet constantly undergoing changes, there are changes in look and composition of the matter itself. Scientists have divided these changes in matter into two categories, physical and chemical changes. A physical change is a change in the appearance or physical properties of a substance and it does not produce a new substance. For example, melting of ice cream is a physical change. A chemical change is a change that creates a new substance. The burning of paper is a good example of a chemical change. The aim of this experiment is to carry out the reaction between an iron nail and copper sulphate solution in water and classify it as a physical or chemical change. Materials required Copper sulphate solution Iron nails Boiling tubes Stands with lamps and a piece of thread Procedure Take two stands with lamps and fix one boiling tube in each stand. Pick one of the iron nails from the watch glass, tie it with a piece of thread and hang it in one of the boiling tubes. Then tie the other end of the thread to the stand. Take copper sulphate solution in a beaker and pour some of it into both the boiling tubes. Keep the apparatus undisturbed for a day. After one day, remove the iron nail immersed in the solution and place it in the watch glass. Compare the two nails placed in the watch glass. The iron nail placed in the watch glass shows a greyish colour of iron whereas the iron nail dipped in the copper sulphate solution shows a brown coating. This indicates that copper is deposited on the iron nail by displacing iron. The colour of the copper sulphate solution in which the iron nail was dipped changes from blue to green whereas the colour of copper sulphate solution in the other boiling tube remains the same. The change of colour from blue to green of the solution in which the iron nail was dipped indicates a chemical change in which copper has been displaced by iron from the copper sulphate solution and a new compound that's FeSO4 is formed. Precautions Try to avoid touching the copper sulphate solution and the nail dipped in the copper sulphate solution. It is better to wear gloves while using materials containing copper sulphate.